Welcome to episode two of Learning Fusion. In today's episode, we're gonna be covering how to create fusion compositions and put them in your projects. So let's roll this awesome intro and let's get to work. We're learning fusion together. We'll learn 2D stuff and 3D stuff and particle stuff and compositing stuff, deep pixel stuff and tracking stuff, but not other stuff, but some other cool stuff. Cause we're learning Fusion together. I know over the past year, we've gone over many, many nodes, over 300 nodes in the node breakdowns. And the point was to teach you guys all the tools that were available within Fusion. So now we're going to start learning how to build things within Fusion. And the first thing we need is a foundation. And with that, we're going to learn how to add Fusion compositions. Now, when we're adding compositions, the one thing you want to keep in mind is your FPS or your frames per second and your settings on your timeline, because this is going to dictate how your Fusion compositions are set up. So if we go to our little settings tab, you can see I've got my timeline set up at 30, 40 by 2160 and my frame rate set to 30. So anytime I create a Fusion composition, in general is going to create those compositions based off those timeline settings. So the first way we can add a composition is by right clicking in our media pool. You can just select new fusion composition and we're going to get this pop up and it's going to have our starting time code, which you can change if you want. The duration by default is going to be five seconds, but we can change that. You can change the clip name as well as changing this frame rate. Now keep in mind, this is important because if we create a fusion composition based off of a, a different frame rate, so let's go ahead and just crank this to 100 and we're gonna create our nice little five second, 100 frame rate uh, fusion composition. And we're gonna drag it into our timeline. So now we've got that in our timeline. So if I select fusion down here, our little fusion tab, jump into our composition and I'm just going to grab a random piece of footage, which is, I believe like 25 frames per second. We can always look at the metadata and yeah, it's 25 frames per second. And if I input this, you can see it's playing back at hundred frames per second. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a merge, stick a merge, grab a text node, and uh, we'll go over all these later, but just to show you how this time is affecting. I can go to our text node, right click and select time code. So now our time is playing at 100 frames per second. But if I go back to our uh, little footage here and I push play, you can see it's playing back normal according to our timeline. So keep that in mind, even though we change our fusion projects to be like 100 frames per second, it's going to be dictated by your timeline. So any editing you do within your fusion page may not transcribe correctly on your edit page. So anytime you're setting up your fusion projects, just make sure you've got your correct frames per second and it's consistent throughout your uh, entire project. So that's the first way we can create a fusion composition. The next way is we can come over here to our little effects page. And if we go to effects, we're going to have the adjustment clip in the fusion composition. We can simply drag a fusion composition over and by default, it's going to give us a five second fusion composition and it's going to be set to our default frame rate. Additionally, if I want to set a specific time, I could uh, select my eye to create an endpoint. And if I wanted to eight seconds, I could go to my eight second mark and hit O for my out point. Now, if I grab this fusion composition and drag it into my display up here, it's automatically going to create a fusion composition, the length of my uh, in and out points. And again, your frame rate is going to be uh, dictated by your timeline frame rate. Now, additionally, if we already had our little clip in here and we wanted to create some fusion effects on it, all we had to do is right click we can say new fusion clip and it's going to turn it into a fusion clip. If I go to our fusion page, now we've got that media in and media out automatically set on our clip. So any adjustments I make in here, let's just make a color adjustment. It is now blue. If I go to our edit page, you can see we've got our fusion composition on our new clip. 
And we can tell this is a fusion composition because it's got fusion clip written right down here. And if ever we need to undo that and bring it back to its original state, if we right click and select reset fusion composition, it's gonna come up with a pop-up. We can hit reset and it's still gonna say fusion clip. But if we go to our fusion composition, you can see it deleted all those nodes other than the media in and the media out. Now, additionally, we can uh, bring our footage back in. Let's bring some other footage in. And if I have multiple clips, I can select the two clips. And if I right click, I can select new fusion clip and it's gonna combine them into one fusion clip. So now if I go to our fusion page, you can see it's got our uh, background that it automatically sets with our media in and our media in two. So it's got both pieces of footage. So now I could come in here and add, say, a dissolve. And instead of a merge, we're going to input this, input this, input this to our media out. We can delete our merge. If we go to our dissolve, now we can create a dissolve. And let's go to, uh, say, this keyframe. Go up dissolve to our other one. So now if we look at our fusion composition, we have got a uh, dissolve. If we go back to our edit page, we play it back. We have got our dissolve. Now, one other way of uh, creating clips is to create link clips. So let me go ahead and delete those. And let's uh, clean up our little media pool so we can see what's going on. And I'm going to delete them. If I uh, bring in our footage again, and for this, I kind of want to make sure my uh, link clips are the same length. So there we go, same length footage. Now if I select this, right click my uh, top little footage here, I can select this create referenced composition. And what it's going to do is going to create a referenced fusion composition. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. It's going to come up with a pop-up so we can rename it. So you can rename it to whatever you want. I'm going to select create. If we look up here, it's got this new little fusion clip with this odd little icon here. And what this means is this is a linked fusion clip. So now if I select fusion, you can see we've got our uh, footage there, but if you notice the difference is we still have two pieces of footage that weren't combined. It doesn't say fusion down here. It says linked fusion clip on our top clip. But if I go into our fusion and uh, let's make the same little dissolve we did before. So shift space, dissolve, and uh, let's bring this to the background, this footage to the foreground, this to our media out. Let's delete this merge or dissolve. We're going to add a keyframe. Add a keyframe here, create another keyframe and uh, I can change our dissolve. So now we've got our dissolve happen on our little fusion page. If I go back to the edit page, I could push play and we've got our little dissolve. So now what we could do is anytime we bring in some other footage, so let's go ahead and grab some random footage here. So I'm going to input this in the background, this one in the foreground. Now, if I click and select this, just to have it highlighted and then right click on my top clip and I can select link to reference composition. So if I go here now, if I play, we're going to get a fade on that composition. And this doesn't matter what footage, so I could replace this footage if I want with, uh, say, this. And now it's fading. But you notice uh, we had some issues with the size there. So keep in mind your sizes with your footage when you're doing stuff like this as well because this is only an HD footage right here, and we've got 4K footage down here, so it's automatically resizing. But if we go back to our little uh, fusion composition, just double click on it, 
we can do something like after our media input here, we can hit shift space, resize, we can add a resize node and on a resize node, we can just select auto resolution, control C, control V. And we're going to paste that behind our other media. So now if we go back and we play our footage, no matter what size media we bring in, it's automatically going to resize. So those are the ways to create fusion compositions within DaVinci Resolve. In our next episode, we're going to jump into the fusion page and we're going to start going over all of the uh, settings in the display in the menu systems. So I'll see you in the next tutorial.